Hi, I'm Will Betzik, permaculture designer and co-founder of Anyone Can Plant a Seed. We're here today at the Lakeshore Community Garden site to talk about our plans to restore it using permaculture techniques and principles. Hey, I'm James and I'm a co-founder of Anyone Can Plant a Seed. This garden was actually the uh, first project that Anyone Can Plant a Seed ever did. A few years ago, we realized that uh, many of the problems that we dealt with as a society that we still deal with uh, stem from our relationship with food. We saw the need to bring back gardens to our homes and to our communities and how that could make us healthier and happier and more in touch with our neighbors. Hi, I'm Squeeu, co-founder of Anyone Can Plant a Seed. We're here at the Lakeshore Community Gardens. We helped to put these here about a year and a half ago, and we're here to do a redesign now using permaculture system and design, ethics and principles. Hi, my name is Jessica Nelson. I am the director of the Lakeshore Community Garden. I'm also um, with Permaculture Jacks. Um, in 2013, I was elected to be the um, Lakeshore uh, director of the gardens, and um, I sort of had a a lot of work on my hands because the garden was unkept and we wanted to move forward to keep it going and at the same time I needed tools to know how to properly keep a garden going. So I started looking into permaculture and um, I've met some wonderful people that said, hey, there's a great way to do gardening that will allow you to put in a system and design it well so that you don't have to be so labor intensive to keep it going. So my name is Betsy Kappa and I am a permaculture design um, graduate and I have had the opportunity to work with the Lakeshore Community Gardens which is an awesome opportunity. Permaculture is a design science built off of three main ethics care of the people, care of the land, and return of surplus. And this type of garden will be, this Lakeshore Community Garden will be exactly that. Top down gardening. So you would have your taller trees and underneath it you would have like your vines that grow up the trees. Underneath it would be smaller flowering trees. And it just goes down to shrubs and then all the way down to even mushrooms. And so um, everything in the garden would be edible. So just like the forest doesn't need hands-on to keep a forest going, the garden itself would be continually going as we plant it properly, copying what nature does automatically. During our experience with the Lakeshore Community Garden, uh, with the raised beds, we learned that a raised bed system requires a lot of input from humans. It requires somebody to come out and water the garden every single day. Uh, that's just too much for a working community. So what we're doing here today is redesigning the garden into a system that will use natural irrigation. It will require less input from humans and in three to four years it'll just regenerate itself. It'll be a food forest that takes care of itself for the Lakeshore community. I think the most beneficial aspects to having a community garden really are encompassed by getting to know the people around you. By building a community, which is what you're doing through a community garden as the catalyst, you learn what skills your neighbors have, what interests they have, and you can share and cultivate your skills and interests together to build a friendlier environment where we can all be abundant and flourish together. I love being a part of these gardens. Um, I have been a part of a few, thankfully, I've had the opportunity to be a part of a few other gardens like this. And I, you don't have to live in a community to help a garden like this, okay? If you believe that it's a way that's gonna help that community, then it's a way to be of service to other people, and I love that. <laughs> 